Blog Talk Radio. This is Bustin' Loose and Faith with Apostle Tebow and Prophet Tebow. This broadcast airs every Friday on My Gospel Soul at 12 p.m. Central Time. Bustin' Loose and Faith is a seed of faith evangelistic outreach ministry. We come to bring you words, praise, and inspiration. We want you to remember that without faith, it's impossible to please God. But with God, all things are possible. Make sure you share this show at 347 826 Bust and loose and faith ministers would love to hear from you. Now, let's get into our broadcast with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophet Lisa Tebow. Right here on My Gospel Soul. Praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, all honor belongs to him this day and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we approach the throne of grace, we come to you humbling ourselves underneath our mighty hand tonight. Just a thank you and praising you for your mercy, your grace, and love. Just a thank you and praising you for who you are, that you are God. And besides me, there is no other to worship in spirit and in truth. Oh, precious Father, make sure to hide them behind Calvary's cross. Anoint this up so clay, use me, Father God, for thy glory. Hallelujah, Lord, we bind up all technical difficulties, anything that's trying to hinder the word of God from going forth. Let the word of God fall on good ground here this night and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit just come on in like a rushing mighty wind. Lead God, direct and ordain our footsteps. And Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. From this day, from this night forward, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have your Bible, I'd mean, like you to open up to the book of John. The book of John, the 15th chapter and verse 3. And we're also going to be looking at Hebrew 4, verse 12. In the book of John, uh, John chapter 15, verse 3 says, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken on to you. Here in the word of God in Hebrew 4, verse 12, it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to this, this dividing a slender of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Just for the next few minutes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I'd like that you pray with us and for us as we bring forth the word of God tonight. Tonight, I want to talk about the word of God cleanses and confirms. The word of God cleanses and confirms. Brothers, and sisters in Christ, here in God's word, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26, it says that he, talking about Jesus, that he might sanctify, set apart, and cleanse you with the washing of water by the word of God. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of God cleanses and it confirms through the use of the internet here in 2022. God has graced us and given us an opportunity to 
lift up that name that's above every other name. And that is the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the praise and the glory of God, our Father. You see, the word of God is powerful. The word of God is sharp. The word of God is quick. The word of God is a living word. Hallelujah. So, beloved, the word of God can help us, cleanse us, and it can conform, confirm us. Uh, Confirm God's word. You see, the word of God cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Beloved, a person is cleansed. He or her, their conduct by obeying God's word. You say, you see, in the word of God in 1 Samuel 15, 22, the big cross of the verse says, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. Yes, God's word can cleanse us. Here the word says in 1 John 1, verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us from all us, our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You see, the word of God can cleanse you from wrong thoughts, wrong behavior. Believer in Christ, the Bible, God's word, will establish our total thought life if we allow it to do so. Here in the scriptures, when we look in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8, where it says, finally, brethren, <clears throat> excuse me, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Beloved, the word of God cleanses you from wrong thinking, wrong thinking, thinking. The word of God cleanses you from wrong words and from wrong actions and from wrong thoughts. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of God is, it is very important for us to read God's word on a daily basis. It is very important for a believer of Christ to set aside a devoted time to get into the word of God for yourself, even before you start your daily journey walking with Christ on a daily basis. See, the word says in the book of John 8, verse 31 and 32, this said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him. If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth I say, and you shall know the truth, the absolute truth, and the truth, God's truth, shall make you free. God's word here tonight in 2022, God's word cleanses and conforms and conforms. The word of God is awesome, powerful. Sharper than any two edged sword. Piercing. Piercing. Hallelujah. It is a sharp word. It's a powerful word. The word confirm means to fully establish. To fully establish a thought 
I mean, to fully establish a truth or a fact. Yes, the word of God is powerful, y'all. The word of God. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But God's word shall abide forever and ever. So, beloved, the Bible, God's word, should be used to confirm the truth in your own heart. You see, child of God, the reservoir of God's power is found in his word, in his own word, the Bible, biblical instruction before leaving earth. That is the way we tap into God's power. God's word is essential for us to read on on a daily basis. There is no option besides reading God's word in order to obtain the power of the Holy Spirit within us. See, God will not speak contrary to what his word says. We as human beings in our own little finite minds, when we try to bring attention to ourselves and we try to voice an opinion about a certain situation that we don't that we know nothing about. We are living in a generation now in twenty twenty two that wanna have a say so, that wanna voice an opinion. But I stopped by here on this Tuesday night, on on June, in June 20, 21, I think it is, if I may not be mistaken. Hallelujah. Where everyone wants a platform in order to speak upon. I stopped by to let you know that the word of God It's absolute truth. The word of God is what we should be as a born-again believer in Christ should be taken heed to. Hallelujah. Because God said his word will stand. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word shall stand. The Bible says that he goes to and fro looking for a man or woman of God that dare to believe his word, that he may show himself mightily in their behalf. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of God cleanses and confirms. Here again in the word, when we look at the Bible in the book of John 15, verse 3, the word of God says, Now ye are cleansed. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. You see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the world that we live in in 2022 is full of all kind of dirt. It's full of all kind of unbelief, fear, and evil. Beloved, every time we are in conversation, with people who are not in the faith. They rub off some negativity on us. You see, every time we watch television, shows that there is something terrible and negative being shown on television. Something with something that relates to it and that is filled and full of fear and uncleanliness in it. Sometimes wrong thoughts come to us. I don't care how long you've been walking with God, whether being a babe in Christ or a veteran in the things of God. Negative thoughts, wrong thoughts, thinking, thinking will come to you. That's why it's so important for us to cast down every imagination and everything that exalts itself. Hallelujah. 
over the word of God and realize that a cleansing process is needed to be done in our lives. So, beloved, as a child of God, give yourself to the word of God on a continuous basis. See, the Bible says in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 16, it says, let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, and abiding one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. I'm going to say that again because it's very important. If I was you, I'd give me a pen and a piece of paper and write down these spiritual nuggets that will help you in 2022. Here again in the book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 16, the word says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, and abiding one another in songs and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. You see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, for the word of God cleanses you. Believer in Christ, the word of God is a cleansing agent, cleaning agent. Child of God, give yourself to the word of God. Because the word of God displays unrighteousness from a man or woman's heart. And replace it with righteousness. The word of God wipes, wipes out fear and replaces it with faith. We have to be mindful of what the word says in Second Timothy. One and seven, for God has given us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. And we must replace fear with faith, where it says in Hebrew 11 and 1, that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We can drop down a little bit further where it says in Hebrew 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. And them that come to God must believe that he is who he said he is. And he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So, beloved, the word of God is a cleanser. It cleanses any. It cleanses anyone who comes under its influence, its power, and its authority. Yes, the word says in the book of Isaiah 55, verse 11, it says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me, Lord, empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto. I send it. Here, God is speaking through the prophet Isaiah to let us know that his word, not the word of man, but the word of God, that comes forth out of your mouth, excuse me, out of his mouth, it shall not return unto him, void or empty. But the word of God shall accomplish that which God pleased. And it shall prosper in the things whereto God sent it. You see, the word of God cleanses you. The word of God confirms. Yes, cleansing means to be free from dirt, contamination. Or impurity. Cleanse means to purify, to make clean, also to remove filth. You see, the Word of God cleanses you. The Word of God cleanses and confirms. 
People of God, the word of God leads you along the right path, the path of righteousness. Bible says in the book of Proverbs 16, verse 25, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways. Believer in Christ, cleansing your way. Your ways is not really about a matter of rearranging your priority or making amends for a few minor laps in judgment or catching up on an old resolution and commitment. Rather, the word of God, it requires a complete and thorough overhaul of everything. It demands a total reconstruction of everything in your own life. Yes, the question may be asked. Why? Because the question may be asked. Why? Because the way of man is com- why why? Because the ways of man is completely out of sync with God. Holy law. Remember what Proverbs sixteen twenty five says. There's a way that seemeth right. Unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of this. So I stop by to let you know that you can think that you're doing right, living right, and yet still be wrong. That's why God's way is the only way. We can't have it the Burger King way, our way. No, it has to be. God's way. He has the last say in everything. Yes, the word of God cleanses and confirms. Here, when we look at the word in the book of Psalms 119, verse 11, it says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might, might not sin against thee. Believer in Christ, being a Christian, here in 2022, in these trying and uncertain times that we are living in, we will, you as a believer in Christ, will experience temptation from every direction. You see, it is very easy to wander off from the Lord, from the God of our salvation. We as born-again believers of Christ are prone to wonder because we, like sheep, can go astray. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are prone to lead the God that loves us because of life hardship. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, as a child of God, even in our weaknesses, we may, we can become great. That is, if it were not, that is, because the Bible says when we are weak to confess that we are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, if it were not for God persevering grace, you and I as born again believers would immediately plunge ourselves Head on into 
intolerable wickedness. Yes, believers of Christ, we live in a hostile, evil, dark world that is filled with sin. We're always, as born-again believers of Christ, we're always unwelcome, strangers. But we must never be heedless, wanderers. Hallelujah. You see, the word of God helps us. It cleanses us. And it confirms God's word. Child of God, the antidote to purposelessness, wandering, is hiding the word of God in our heart and memorizing it. Yes, beloved, once you have that foundation, then you have something solid that you can build upon. Yes, memorizing the Bible, the word of God, must be of great importance to you as a child of God because it will protect you from all kinds of sin. Believers in Christ, the word of God will be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. According to God's word, Psalm 119, verse 12, which says, Blessed are thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes, thy rules. People of God, there are countless homes all over and across the United States of America that has Bibles in their possession. Some Bibles are used to decorate coffee tables in houses. Many Bibles just sit on a bookshelf gathering dust, whether at home, in offices, and public places. Remember Remember this, if nothing else, through this teaching here tonight, that Bibles that are, that Bibles that are never read cannot fill our minds with godly thoughts or change our heart or our behavior. I'm going to say that again for those that are listening in, those that are listening in at a later date and time. That the word of God, the Bible, biblical instruction before leaving earth, the Bible that are never read, cannot fill our minds with godly thoughts or change our hearts or our behavior here in 2022. Thank you, God, for your mercy and your grace.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised. We thank God for each and every one that is listening in tonight and those that will be listening in at a later date. We just hope and pray that, 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 hallelujah, that the word of God is, is ministering to your soul and bringing you encouragement in your life. Hallelujah. Beloved, you must search the scriptures daily on a personal basis. And you must do it with a godly understanding. It is often said that true event, true religion or evangelism, evangelism is a is a barometer for a believer in Christ who appreciate the word of God. You see, as a child of God, the more one loves the word, the Bible, the more that person will want to communicate its precious truth to other people so that they can love it also. As a believer in Christ, let the word of God take hold of your heart today. Beloved, we must memorize God's word and delight ourselves in it and not forget it. You see, the Bible must occupy our thinking as a child of God and it must regulate our behavior. I'm going to say it again for those that are listening in. The Bible, God's word, for a believer in Christ. The word of God must occupy our thinking. And it must regulate our behavior. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of God cleanses and confirms. You see, the word of God must be our joy and our delight. It must captivate our thinking so that we would never consider doing what the word of God forbids or what the word of God commands. People of God, in this 21st century that we live in, it is filled with addiction of all sorts. For an example, drunkards are addicted to wine and strong drinks. Drug drug addicts, drug addiction cannot make cannot make it through the day. without their crack cocaine. Talking about a drug, those on drugs that has an addiction for crack cocaine or other substance. Pedophiles will not leave room, will not leave children alone in 2022. They are more on the rise now than ever. And also there's other folks that are are addicted to pornography, to sex, lust, sexual lust, to violence, to gambling, to video games, and just about anything that you can think of or imagine. These kinds of addiction are all filled with evil. And they are all destructive. But, beloved, there is one addiction that a child of God should have in 2022. And that is being addicted to the word of God. Believers in Christ, those who are addicted to to God's word, the Bible, becomes addicted to other things 
for a child of God such as evangelistic work and other good works. In fact, beloved, God sent his son Jesus into this world for this very purpose that those who believe in him might give themselves entirely to his service. Yes, Jesus came so that we as followers of his might become addicted to Jesus as being our Lord and Savior. Here in the word of God, and let us know that in John 10.10, the B clause of the verbs, it says, I have come that they might have life and and that they might have it more abundantly. This was Jesus' mission, which he fulfilled for us as God's children. Yes, when Jesus came here to planet Earth, and he died for our sins, and he was resurrected so that we as followers of Christ might become addicted to him. Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. You see, the word of God cleanses and confirms. Here in the book of Ezekiel 36, verses 25 through 27, it says, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols, which I will will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Beloved, consider the ways that sin have sparrow, have sorrowed us. And God promised to wash us. <clears throat> Here, when we look in the scriptures, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 18, it says, Come now, and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Beloved, all in Jesus Christ, and erase the guilt and the shame that polluted our bodies. You see, God put the condemnation, he put away the condemnation and punishment for sin on the shoulders of Jesus Christ. God freed us from all our shame by purifying us and declaring us holy. Yes, beloved believers in Christ, anything we value more highly than God, it becomes an idol to us. Anything we value more highly than God becomes an idol to us. Yes, idols, evil thoughts, and wrong attitudes can contaminate our mind. So oftentimes in, in this walk 
with the Lord in 2022. We feel trapped by a cursing words and vile images that cycle through our minds. We on our, on our own cannot change our thoughts. Only God can, and he does. When we look at the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 5, it says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Yes, believer in Christ, remember that sin originated in our heart. Here the psalmist David says in Psalms 51 verse 10, when he was caught in adultery with Bathsheba, another man's wife. Psalms 51 verse 10 says, Created me a clean and pure heart, O God, and renew a right and a steadfast spirit within me. Beloved, cleansing Forgiven, forgiveness and deliverance from shame awakens, awaits all who come to Jesus Christ in repentance and in faith. You see, the word of God cleanses and confirms. Here in John 15, verse 3, it says, Now are ye clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. You see, God's word cleanses. It cleanses us. And it purifies our heart. Believer in Christ, everyone needs a Bible preaching church to attend. Where God challenged his people based on their response to the truth, to God's word, the Bible, biblical instruction before leaving earth. Yes, the word of God, my brothers and sisters in Christ, it cleanses us and it confirms. Again, here in the book of Hebrew, Oh, verse where in Hebrew 4 and verse 12, it says, thank you, Jesus, that the word is quick, that the word of God is quick. Oh, yes, it is. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the the sign asunder of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So, beloved, to obey God's word with all our heart is to obey God with a pure heart. Child of God, when you delight yourself in God's word, you will hide it in your heart and you will meditate upon it and you'll share it with others. Yes, the word says in Psalms 119, verse 34, give me understanding and I shall keep 
thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. The word of God cleanses and purifies your heart. Yes, beloved, the Bible is like fire. The word of God is like fire. It is allowed, if allowed, it is allowed to work on the inside of your heart. Yes, for an example, when fire in the natural purifies metal, God's word spiritually will purify our conscience. God's word will renew our minds. God's word will eliminate, illuminate our spirit. God's word will drive away darkness from our lives. God's word, the the light will expose areas in our lives that need to be changed. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of God cleanses and confirms. The word of God brings warmth and comfort in times of difficulty. Believers in Christ, the fiery impact of God's word awakens us to areas that need to be transformed by God's Holy Spirit. You see, when a believer in Christ hears the scriptures, It is expounded by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Or when he or she reads God's word, the Bible, its word is taken by faith into here, here, into her or his heart. And God's word, its supernatural power, is unleashed. And when that happens, that person's heart, will, thoughts, emotions, and memory are all touched by God's power as if by fire. Again, we are reminded that in Hebrews 4, and 2, verse 12, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Pierce and even to the divine asunder of soul and spirit and of joint and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents, intents of the heart. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of God cleanses and confirms. Yes, the life in God's word awakens to the recipient who receive a greater measure of God's presence into his or her life. In the divine process of transformation, I'm going to say that again. The word of God cleanses and confirm in the life of a believer the word of God awakens the recipient to receive a greater measure of God's presence into his or her life in the divine process of transformation yes the word of God says in Romans 12, verse 2. Beloved, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. 
that you may know the perfect will of God for your life. So, beloved, just as fire in the natural has melted power, those who are willing to let the word of God spiritually do its deeper work will see stubbornness and unbelief melt away in their lives. Believer of Christ. Child of God, the hardest of hearts have been known to soften when it is drawn to the intent heat of the spiritual heat of the word of God. The spiritual heat, spiritual fire released by God's word. And child of God, just as fire is used in the natural world to burn debris, when the word of God is injected into the soul, is divine power identified and consume waste that needs to be removed from a person's life. We just hope and pray through teaching of God's word here tonight. Talking about the word of God that cleanses and confirms. As we bring it to an end, we just hope and pray there was something that was said that brought encouragement to your soul. We just hope and pray that the word of God that you would consider what have been said and be mindful of studying God's word. And we just say amen, amen, and amen here tonight. If for any reason that you would like to get in contact with us, you can write us at P.O. Box 92864, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70549. Again, if you'd like to get in contact with Dudley Tebow as well as Lisa Tebow, you can write us at P.O. Box. 92864, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70509. Have a blessed and wonderful, safe evening. Jesus, Terry, God's willing, continue to pray for us as we continue to pray for you. We'll meet again through the use of the internet on this Friday. Friday night at 6. Have a blessed evening. And God bless you is my prayer.